Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for all things beauty, hair, fashion, and a lifestyle. It's Lady M here. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a luxury haul with you guys. I've picked up a couple things um, <laughs> over eh, the course of a couple months. And so I just wanted to sit down and share with you some of the luxury items that I picked up over the last couple of months. Okay, before we get into the video, if you aren't already subscribed and if you aren't a part of the Lady M fam, then please take a minute and just go down and hit that subscribe button down below. While you're there, please hit that notification bell to be notified whenever new videos go up. I don't want you guys to miss out on these uploads. Like, why not? All right, so let's go ahead and get into a couple items that I picked up recently on the luxury side of things. So let's go. Okay, so let me, I mean, I have a little bit, mostly fragrances, honestly, um, and not even that much makeup and just lifestyle items. Um, so let me start out with <laughs> the two items that I picked up from uh, Louis Vuitton. Um, they're just basically everyday stuff. Um, as you know, this is the Louis Vuitton box and you just take the drawer out, you get the nice little pouch. And I got a card holder. That was really one of the things that I wanted. And this is in the all black, I think it's called em Empernaut print. I can't say the word, Empernaut um, print. And it has like the Louis Vuitton logo. It has the inside area here that you can put um, card, cash, whatever. I usually just stick my driver's license here and then I just literally just put two cards in here and I'm done. Um, and then of course it comes with the, um, the little certificate in here. And I like this uh, particular, pro like the particular one because it's pliable, like it's not hard, you know, like that hard leather, it's super, super soft. And I pretty much bought this to go with my uh, bum bag. So I have a little crossbody in the same print, the Empanade uh, print, and I just wanted this to kind of go with that. So that's that. Putting her back in her box. And then the next thing that I got, like little girly stuff, um, same um, bag, box, you pull it out, you get the little satchel, and I pretty much just got a charm. Um, most of the Louis Vuitton bags, I'm pretty tall. So when they make their crossbodies, they're really, really short. And so I, you kind of have to buy these charms to be able to extend the length of the, um, the bag. And so this is the charm. I want to make sure that you guys be able to see. This is the charm that I bought. And you basically clip this side. It um, turns here right like that and you basically attach that on and you get a little bit of an extension on the bag i only got one because one side is literally enough but you can buy two and have like matching ones on both sides so yeah that's the second thing that i picked up so 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 cute and so dainty but it's just like the perfect way for me to get the right crossbody i don't like for my crossbody to kind of like sit high on my waist. I like it to literally be right at my waist. And so that will per uh, will give me the ability to do that. So I'm super excited for that. Just gonna stick the box right there behind me. And then I'm gonna go into, let's do some shades because I picked up two shades. Um, so let me share those with you guys. Um, one is a Gucci glasses and they were, I got these from Nordstrom's. I'll be sure to link everything in the description box. So look at the, the detailing on these glasses. So on the side, it has like 
there and it has like the two G's and it has the Gucci. And then this I think is in the gold and the green, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just like a really nice, yes, big glasses. So I'm like, it's summertime, like we outside, okay? So we gotta get these shades. <laughs> So I'm super excited for this one. I mean, the only thing I don't really like is I don't tend to like glasses that have the little nose piece on there, but it's shades and it's okay. Cause usually when you have your makeup on, you just gotta kind of like, you know, it leaves like that print. So we just wear glasses to be cute, okay? <laughs> Especially with the makeup. So this one I got is from Prada and it's one of, it's like with the tort print and it's so so cute it's brown um it's that cat eye and this is what she looks like yes cute i think these were sold out um but i'll check and if i can find them i'll definitely link down below i love glasses and i think it's just like the perfect accessory you know, to your outfits. It's really simple and easy to be able to accessorize. And while we're talking about accessorizing our outfits, the next way to do that is definitely with some fragrances. So just gonna rest those back there. And I kinda want a little ham. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I already had um, a lot of Tom Ford already, well, in my collection. Um, I had um, the Soleil Blanc. So this was one that I had already. And then I also had the perfume. So I had these already long time ago and I decided, um, this is the body oil, y'all. Look at this. This is perfect for the summertime. And what makes this oil so good is that it's the perfect layer to the fragrance to allow the fragrance to last longer. So if this is like my second bottle of the Soleil Blanc fragrance, so it's still in the packaging. Um, but what is good about, I mean this, I feel like it doesn't really wear very long. So you kind of have to, you know, like reapply. And I have a travel size one that I keep on me whenever I wear this. So that way I can kind of refresh. But in the summertime, as you know, Soleil means sun. So this is like the perfect summer fragrance. And I layer this with the oil and then they just, oh my God, go so, so good together. So I've had that before, but I re-upped on this. And how I got this was Sephora usually has those fragrance sampler boxes. So I bought the sampler because they were giving this Soleil Blanc as part of the one that you can redeem for the full size. So if you've never tried that, that is an awesome way to get full size products. And I think you pay like $65 for the sampler and you get a, one of the full size products. And this is a hundred and something dollars. So basically I paid 65 and I'm able to get this. So those sampler boxes come out a couple times a year, Mother's Day, like Father's Day and the holiday. So just look at the boxes to see what the fragrances are in it. And that's like a super, super steal. Um, so I also have the Oud Wood. And I know this is the box um, here. This is what it looks like. And then when you take the fragrance, when you take the top off, this is what the fragrance looks like. Uh, get it in focus so you guys can see. So I have that. And what I picked up was the travel size of the Oud Wood. This is like my nighttime fragrance. It wears very well through the day. It is on the more woody, um, masculine kind of scent, but on me, it smells really good. And I'll just say when you guys go to like, to smell Tom Ford fragrances, don't go off the paper. Always get a sample. That way you can try it because it's all about the chemistry and how the fragrance meshes with your chemistry. So a lot of times we smell something on the paper, we buy it, we take it home, and then we're like, oh, this does not smell good. So because, you know, your chemistry affects 
the fragrance. And then another tip is when you spray your fragrances, we're always rubbing. Do not rub. Just kind of like fan and let the fragrance dries down. When we rub, we disrupt how the fragrance dries. So typically when you spray the fragrance, you're always going to get the top note. And then when it dries down, you get the middle note. And then the, the base notes is literally what makes the perfume because that's what you smell in as the fragrance has completely dried down. You're going to get the base notes. So for me, when I go fragrance shopping, I just look at the notes and that's how I know if something is going to work for me or not because I know what I typically like. So I love the oud wood. Then I got the Soleil Roulant. This is the latest launch from Tom Ford. And I just love this nude and like gold packaging. Amazing. Um, and the bottle is all gold. Like, yes, this is just sexy. Another perfect summer scent. Um, it smells so, so, so good. It kind of start if you smell it on the paper, again, you're not going to like it because it does not smell good. Like it's very spicy. So in the beginning, you kind of smell that peppercorn kind of note, and then you have to get through that to get to the, the, the big, the best of the fragrance. So I, oh, I love that. That is my second summer fragrance. And listen, you got to have a fragrance wardrobe because for me, I wear fragrance based off where I'm going, what mood I'm in and like <laughs> how much I want you to smell me. <laughs> That's kind of how I go off of my fragrance. So anyway, the newest addition to my collection is I bought, well, let me show you the other body oil that I bought. I bought the Soleil Niche body oil, which is the sister to the Soleil Blanc. I have the Soleil Niche fragrance, but I have it in a travel size. I'm going to get the bigger size. Um, but this one is like an all day perfume or even a nighttime perfume. So the base note in this is kind of has that musky kind of smell. So my God, when it dries down, it smells good. So I cannot imagine layering this with the perfume, what that's going to do. And these oils are good. They don't transfer onto your clothes. They're a dry oil. And when you just like, if you're wearing maxi dresses or any kind of dress, showing your decollete, your shoulders, then you want to get this oil, honey, because ugh, it's amazing. All right. The next that I added in was my Tom to Tom Ford is the lost cherry and the bitter peach, but bitter peach. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was watching another, uh, YouTuber or somebody talk about bitter peach. And at first I was like, oh, that thing smells so gross. And like I'm telling you guys, you have to spray it on your body. So I went into Nordstrom's, I sprayed myself, and literally the whole day, everybody kept asking me what I'm wearing. It smelled so good. I was like, okay, I need this in my life. So I went back and I immediately picked this up. When I tell you, oh, sex, oh my God, it smells good. You just have to put it on. Like I said, don't go off what it smells like on the paper. Then I have Lost Cherry. If you have a smell Lost Cherry, then you're lost because this one smells good as well. So that's pretty much that for my Tom Ford. Another gem is Perfumes de Marley. Perfumes de Marley is a French house of fragrance. And I mean, oh, this is Delina. This is the body butter, but the fragrance, oh my gosh, they have like three versions of the Delina. They have the La Rose, they have the Delina exclusive, which is exclusive to Nordstrom's, and then they have the Delina. <sighs> Turkish Rose, yes, floral. When I tell you this thing lasts, I wear the body cream and I still get questions. I still have people asking me, what am I wearing? So even though I'm not wearing the perfume, but I have on the body cream and it still draws people in. So this right here is amazing. If you have not tried this, you need rich, rich body cream. Your skin is soft and supple and just mwah, amazing. Um, I have another <laughs> oldie here. This is the reimagined. I don't really know. This is the parfum. This is the Tom Ford, uh, black orchid. This is the parfum. So this is like the most intense version of the black orchid black orchid is where it all started so this is the og of 
like, you know, the uh, blend for Tom Ford. So this is the uh, Black Orchid. The original Black Orchid is in a black bottle that's shaped just like this, and then this part is gold. So be sure to check that out. A newbie to me is the House of Siage. And I have a friend that put me on to the House of Siage. They also do like beauty stuff. So this was like a free gift that came with my order. And this is their lipsticks. Wait till I show you how this thing looks. This is the only one that I own because these things is, I'm gonna show you. This is the holder for the lipstick. Everything in it is Swartzy crystals, like in the whole um, packaging. And then the lipstick, this is the lipstick holder and it has a little mirror in it so you can put on your lipstick, okay? Now, these luxury, fr luxury fragrant fragrances hit different. They are just the bomb. Um, they last longer. I don't know, the ingredients are just so much better. Nothing with nothing wrong with designer fragrances, but you know, luxury fragrances cost a lot more, but they cost that more for a reason. Um, so that is the <laughs> lipstick holder, and I'm gonna show you all the lipstick. But anyway, House of Siage had a sale. And uh, I picked up a couple of the fragrances. This is what the packaging looks like when it comes. And then you lift it up. And ooh, this is, look at the top, you guys. Packaging is like none other. Um, and it has the little card that says the House of Siage, House of Siage, and it says, you are now the owner of a House of Siage Signature Edition perfume. It pays homage to the artistry, traditions, and unmatched craftsmanship of the classic perfumery while transcending mother, modern conventions. The coupling of unique ingredients tailored by experience and time-honored attention to detail produce aromatics that evoke feminine sensuality, but yield to and engage with each wearer in mysterious ways. So again, everything smells different on everybody. So you can't, like, I don't recommend just blindly buying perfume. Just go ahead, get samples, test it out. And um, also, if you know what kind of notes you like, then it makes it a lot easier. Um, and basically, you just twist, and this is the perfume right there. Like, this is just sexy. Look at that. <laughs> And this one is um, Whisper, Whisper of Innocence. That's this um, scent. And another thing, like the box, you can kind of fold it down and then it magnetic, you know, it goes back up like that, goes up and that's how it comes. And it has like a little cleaning paper in it because you're gonna want to keep your squirt, short, squirtsy crystal <laughs> tongue tied um, in order. So I have Whisper of Innocence. My favorite is, oh, I can't say this, Haunts of Bijou. I can't even say it, but this is my favorite. It smells amazing. And, and the packaging on this one, oh, it's like that rose, mm, it's like that rose gold color. Look at that, oh my God. Amazing. I wish I would be able to tell you what the notes are on these, but I did not um, pull that up. So I don't have it. This one is Exquisite Beauty Rings in a Song to Mother Earth, graced with the enhancements of the rare Kari Cardoon Blossom. Sparkling notes of the tropics are punctuated by succulent Tuscan vanilla, a declaration of divine harmony. And I love vanilla. So this is definitely <laughs> one of my faves. Um, and then the last one that I got is Tierra. And the packaging on this one is blue. So it comes in like a blue, um, that the, the top is blue. So that's what that one looks like. So yes, honey, this is, Amazing. And last 
little luxury thing I got is something from Versace. And this is Dylan, but it's the Dylan turquoise. And when I got this, it came with this nice scarf. So this is the scarf that it came with. That was my gift. And you know, this is like from the house of Versace. And I have the original Dylan blue, but this one, again, perfect summertime fragrance. I'm not gonna lie. So I did get the set and this is the box and the set has what we got in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get the, the shower gel, you get the body gel, and then you get the fragrance, and then you get a, oh, smells so good. So that is what the packaging looks like. And when you look at the bottle, the detail, and this one has the Medusa. I can't get it out of the box to show you. So when you look at this, the detailing on the bottle, it's a frosted bottle. You got the head, the Medusa head right there. And then you also have it on the top. And then you have Versace written all on the bottle. So it goes around spelling the name. Um, oh, I love this fragrance. Oh my God. So this one is everything. I own the Dylan Blue, which is in a blue, same shape like this, but it's a royal blue with gold. Everything is the same. So when I smelled this, I was like, um, yes, please. <laughs> I need that. And the other thing that I picked up is a makeup item. Like I told you, it's not much makeup. And this is just the Dior Lip Glow. And this is in the shade Mahogany. I'll give you guys a little swatch. These lip oils are everything. These are good just on their own. They don't really add a lot of color, but they're just bomb. You can't even see it. It's, it's just meant to give you some nice hydration. Um, so it's cherry oil infused, but this one is in the shade Mahogany. And the other thing I have is the travel size of this Tom Ford one, and it's called fucking fabulous. And yes, this shit is fucking fabulous. Okay. Mm, it smells so good. Again, another spicy scent. So it kind of, I think that it kind of goes with ombre leather, but it has like a softer, a softness to it compared to, amber, to compared to ombre leather. So initially you smell that leather, but then once it dries down, then you get onto the softer side. So I do need to get that in um, like the 50 ml or 1.7 or whatever, but it's just always sold out and I can't seem to get it. But that's on my list to be able to get oh, later. I love that too. So <laughs> that completes my luxury haul, guys. Mainly like lifestyle items. I just really went over fragrances really quickly. I didn't want to like bog you down with too much details, but everything will be linked in the description box down below. Um, but let me know what is in your luxury fragrance collection. There's so many more houses out there. There's so many more other things for me to try. And thanks to my friend, Miss Lady Labrish. Um, she was the one that kind of put me on to House of Siage and just kind of been throwing me into that luxury lane for fragrances. So a lot of this is kind of new to me and I'm excited for the journey and just um, me discovering, you know, like what kind of fragrances speak to me and what I love. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what your, what your thoughts are. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.